afternoon, Family Community Church. I am Sister Rhonda Turney, and I bring you greetings today on this gorgeous Sunday. Today is our prayer about stress. And I just want you to know, Philippians 4, 6 says, Be anxious about nothing. Only through prayer and supplication bring all your requests known to God. So I want to encourage you to not be stressed about anything, to find a place, to find a spot in your house, to find a spot somewhere near. For me, it is near a body of water where I can feel calm, where I know that God's presence is with me and he calms me down based on that particular place I'm at. So I encourage you to find a spot, a place where you can feel calm. Let's go ahead and pray regarding stress. And also, I wanna pray for the stress you may be having regarding this distance learning. Know that God's got your back and God's got your children's back during this time of COVID and distance learning and everything else that's going on in your life. You can do this because God is with you. And when you are feeling stressed, I pray that God would put his hand of mercy on you and give you comfort. He would also give you a happiness in your heart so that you would feel joyful. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your mercy. I pray, Lord, that you would relieve all of us from the stress that we are feeling due to these outside circumstances. Fill us, Lord, with your joy and your peace and your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good day, family. My name is Reverend Nelson Dibby. We're going to be praying for stress and anxiety. My first prayer is going to be on stress. Our gracious Father, the King of kings, the I am that I am, we come this day to glorify your name, to worship you, for you are a great God that is not like you. O oh Lord, my God, you alone are God. You are the solver of issues. You said with you all things are possible. Yet there is nothing we pass through that you do not see. My Father, my God, I come this day, O oh Lord, my God, to bring our worries, our stress into your hand, mighty God. Father, I pray today, O oh Lord God, that you grant us your heavenly peace. Father, grant us that faith, O oh great God in heaven, faith to trust in you, to know that with you all things are possible. Father, I pray, O oh great God in heaven, Lord God, that those things that seem impossible in our life, O oh great God, that you will turn around for us, mighty God. Help us, mighty God. Provide for our needs, O oh great God. Cast away every one of our worries, mighty God. You said in your word, King of glory, that those that trust in you, you will never put to shame, O oh great God. We want to trust in you this day, mighty God. Grant us that boldness of heart, mighty God, that boldness of spirit, mighty God, to hold tight to you, mighty God. For what man cannot do, you will do, O oh great God in heaven. Have your way in our life, mighty God. Have your way in our family, mighty God. Father, take care of us, mighty God. Dispass your angels concerning us this day, O great God in heaven. We need you more than we've ever needed you before. We need your guidance, mighty God. Father, we need your direction, King of glory. Help us, mighty God, to overcome every one of our stress, mighty God in heaven. Today, O oh great God, we hold tight to you. We hold out the hem of your garment, mighty God. Father, to take care, to supply every one of our needs, mighty God. Yes, this virus, O oh great God, is trying to consume, O oh great God, in heaven, roaming around looking for who to consume. But Father, we will not allow this fear, O oh great God, to hold us down. We will keep on trusting in you. Thank you, our great God in heaven. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you for your love for us. We honor you this day. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Uh, my name is Aretha Ruff, and I was asked to say a prayer on, um, on stress. 
Um, Heavenly Father, please grant me a peace of mind and a um, calm heart through these hard times right now. We're in, charted, in uncharted territories, Lord. In my lifetime, I would never, never thought we would have an epidemic of writing over racial equality, Lord. Um, them to put along would cause stress in anyone's life. Um, I would never thought that we would have schools closing, restaurants closing. I never thought that we, the United States would actually go into a lockdown. That alone would cause stress in anyone's life. We all know the answer to the stress is for us to pray, pray, go into our closets and pray. We need to get down on our knees on a daily basis and pray. Lord, give us strength and clarity to have a peace of mind. Find a purpose and walk in the path you have set for us. I trust you, Lord. You will heal this stress that we all may be going through. Just as the sun rises each day against all the darkness, the dark and the night, please give me clarity with the light. Our, um, our Savior, Lord, um, just give us all um give us some peace lord I, I, this is this is hard it's even hard it's hard for me it's hard for me i don't understand um what's going on but i know you have the answers you have the answers to this and uh in jesus name the answer is you in jesus name amen amen and amen greetings family you know, at times we all experience physical, emotional, and spiritual exhaustion. It seems like one more interruption, one more delay, one more problem may send us tumbling over the edge. Many of us try to get more done in less time with better results. And we try to juggle the demands of home, church, work, and family life. And when we're living on the edge, we become worn out, we become stressed out, and eventually, if we don't watch it, we can experience burnout. Stress not only dampens our spirits and frowses our nerves, but the constant rush of adrenaline overstimulates our heart and can weaken the immune system, leaving us prone to even more illness and more stress-related problems. In our time-driven culture, stress is an inevitable part of life so we have to learn to manage it. And tonight we're just going to pray that God will allow us to endure and to be able to manage our stress. Please pray with me. Merciful Father, we come before your throne of mercy and your throne of grace. First of all, acknowledging you, Lord, as our, the source of every single thing that we need. Father, we feel the strain, we feel the press uh, the whirlwind of things that we have to face every day. But Lord, we know that you're able to give us peace that surpasses all understanding. So Father, we ask in the name of Jesus right now, Lord, that you speak to our heart, that you speak to our mind. Father, when we're troubled, Father, when we're burned out, when we don't know what to do, when we're overburdened, Lord, we turn to your word that says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy burden, and you would give us rest. Uh, Father, we pray that you will ease troubled minds on today. We pray that you will relax uh, those that are anxious today, Lord. And Father, we pray that you would give us a generous blessing of things from heaven that will help us manage our stress level. Uh, Father, we know that there's things that we have to do every single day, but we don't want to be overburdened and worn down and torn down and burned out, Lord. And we know that you didn't design us to be that way. But Father, we look to the hills from which come with our help, knowing that our help comes from you. So Father, I just pray right now that you just release peace, Lord, that you release uh, everything, Lord, that is the cure for anxiety. We know it's in your word, Lord. I pray for our study time, our meditation time. I pray for that alone time that we would make the time to spend to hear your voice at the beginning of the day, at the noonday, and before we lay down at night, Father. We need your word. We need to feel your presence with us. And most of all, we need to feel your arms wrapped all around us, Lord, comforting us, Lord, when we feel that we're stressed. We know you can do it, Lord. So, Father, we just lift up all of those right now, Father, that are going through so much. 
And Lord, we know that you are the ultimate shepherd and that you're going to take great care of us. We trust in you, Lord. So Father, we just thank you right now because we know that help is already on the way. You're already touching. You're already relieving. You're already de-stressing people, Lord. In the name of Jesus, release your Holy Spirit, Father, to do these things that we ask. We'll be ever mindful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. <laughs>